One of the other minor issues I've had is with that mixing valve. It's a Honeywell a mixing valve that takes your hot water from your tank and adds cold water if your hot water is above a certain temperature. Well, that valve is at 120 degrees. And the problem with that is that when you're doing dishes by hand, 120 degrees just doesn't cut it. It's, it's fine for, you know, when you're having a shower or whatever, but uh, your significant other is going to complain if the temperature isn't hot enough for hand washing. So Home Depot didn't have uh, any decent ones. So what I did was uh, order something from PexSupply.com, and they're quite reasonable. Uh, I think they were... $35 a piece and these are a new kind of mixing valve it's a sweat fitting versus the uh, the washer fitting of the Honeywell and the washer fitting is absolute garbage because the washer fitting on the Honeywell actually leaks so what you have here is you have your uh, uh, mix at the top which is your output you got your hot coming in right here and your cold in the bottom so it's uh, I don't know if I can zoom in on this thing without blurring it, not really. It's uh, adjustable and this one goes up to 160 Fahrenheit so it's adjustable from 120 on this side to 160 on this side so you just basically turn that uh, dial to your desired water temperature and then you're not going to burn the kids if they're playing around because did you not this tank has seen 185 degrees Fahrenheit uh, quite a few times now with the summer sun and I'm only using two out of three panels. One of them is covered up because it's already getting too hot. So anyway, this item is really good. Uh, the SKU number here is uh, 021462 and it's a half inch 70A F sweat tempering valve. Okay, so that's the one that you want uh, to put after your hot water tank. This is the bee's name.